Hello fellas and welcome to another video. So in this quick video I'm actually going to review this uh, mobile application, this Android application called Programming Hub. So I have the uh, pro version of this application as you can see here. It doesn't say valid until but I have uh, it's the pro version of it and uh, this is actually an application for people who want to start learning programming and not only because they don't they do not only have like uh, apps for beginners but they also have sort of like intermediate uh, courses uh, so I was saying they don't have apps but I meant to say that they don't have courses only for beginners they also have courses for more uh, intermediate users or uh, people so yeah that's that and these are some of the courses that I started and I actually haven't finished and the, uh, the course that it's completed that I've completed is the C course the C programming language course so I was saying that uh, I have this uh, pro version for a couple of months I haven't been using it too much but I've been using it like moderately I would say and uh, I didn't have the pro version from the very beginning. I started with a limited, with the free version. Um, and I believe that the free version um, has fewer courses uh, and it doesn't give you the certificate of completion. But I would say that it's a really good investment. I'm not really sure uh, on the pricing right now of this app because I haven't checked, but I'll link to... Uh, I'll link to it in the description of this video. So let's take a quick look at the courses that we have here. So we can see that they are categorized uh, on uh, different uh, topics. We can see mobile development here, web development, some courses that are coming soon. Let's see over here. Uh, the courses that are coming soon are here at the bottom. Android development and I'm really looking forward to that uh, cloud computing unity building a website this is already there so let's look at the beginners uh, so the beginners they have fundamentals IT basics which maybe we can um, so it seems that I might not be able to use this without an internet connection very likely so I'll have to turn on uh, mobile data or my Wi-Fi so if you look at the IT basics over here uh, it says what you will learn the target audience the benefits of knowing the IT basics as well as the summary as well as the salary uh, that you might get after having this type of knowledge and this is also, uh, they have an index, which is sort of like a syllabus. Um, and these are, I believe, sections uh, with a preview of each of, this, of these uh, sections. But let's look at a more like programming course, uh, sort of like the C one that I've completed. So as you can see over here, we also have a compiler, which can be run over here in the app which is really nice uh, we also have like feature programs on different topics um, as you can see factorial of a number we can try it ourselves let's say run enter the number let's say the factorial of six run and then we have the output over there okay so that's a really nice feature we have a lot of programs over here and we also have cheats which is sort of like a cheat sheet um, let's look at some of them so yeah this is another really cool feature of, of the program of the of the application and of course the description as seen previously with the IT basics course over here we have uh, for someone who knows C they might so for a C programmer the salary the expected salary they estimated at seventy five thousand dollars a year which is uh, really nice I would say okay 
so yeah that's that's how a course looks on the programming hub application and we can see over here that the, the uh, they have quite a few courses they have c plus plus they have machine learning which is really interesting they have blockchain javascript and these are beginner courses they even have assembly very few mobile applications that i know have like decent assembly courses and this one uh, this one is really nice because I, um, so this is a, like a, a personal opinion. I've seen the um, preview of the course, so it, it looks, uh, it looks to be a really good one. And it is very likely that I'm going to start it soon. Uh, so we have Ruby, shell script, and even cryptography. And... Uh, so those were all beginner courses and then we have the advanced section over here with uh, C++, JavaScript, HTMLC, Java and Python which is really good and we also have game development and a couple of them coming soon so we have Unity over here that's going to come soon for game development um, analytics, machine learning and R programming and the coming soon uh, we have the Android development, uh, which I'm really looking forward to. I hope they they do not only talk about Java, but they also have uh, something more like uh, Kotlin, which is um, which is becoming, in my opinion, one of the main ways to develop Android applications. And of course, iOS development, the Unity and cloud computing. So these are really cool courses let's see what's up with uh, with building a website so by the end of this course you will have a basic thorough understanding of HTML and CSS um, so this is more like a static website as far as I can see because it only uses HTML and CSS um, I believe they They'll do much more uh, on that side of things and they'll probably become more practical uh, as this uh, application reaches more users. So let's actually, uh, before finishing this, uh, this quick video, let's actually take a look at the course that I completed and go through one of these lessons. So let's say... Um, functions okay let's go to function definition so as you can see it gives you a definition of uh, these are very small bits of lessons that are easily digestible and you can learn really quickly from them so we can also uh, text-to-speech enable text-to-speech and then uh, they'll actually read it out loud once I press continue um, or not but they actually do first let us understand meaning of return type see return type if you want your function to return some value as a result of the task the data type of this return value will come here okay now let's turn this off um, and then as you tap on the screen uh, or click on next it's actually uh, quite interactive so let's uh, let's see and it becomes even more interactive when you have to fill in with code or actually um, choose from one of these uh, answers so a function declaration does not contain the actual function body let's say this is uh, false check results incorrect true check results correct okay so tap to continue as you can see this is really really basic this is really simple really clean and for someone who gets into programming who starts programming it's a really easy way to actually uh, get yourself started To write this program, we will pass two numbers as parameters and return the addition of it. 
Okay. All right, so that's how you complete uh, one of these uh, sub-modules in the course. But how do you think you can use it in the program? Tap to continue. Let's see how a function is used in the program. To call a function, let's take the addition. Tap to continue. Okay, so I think I can just... Uh, uh, yeah, there you go. So I have my certificate because I was on the last module. <clears throat> okay, of course, so that's uh, really the basics of it. But I would say that in order for you to better understand uh, a programming language, you should go to the compiler or to the programs over here and start trying to understand uh, how these actually work by running them and see uh, their outputs. That's how I would say that you learn faster, other than just going through these uh, interactive lessons over here. All right, so there you have it. This is uh, my review of Programming Hub. I think this is one of the best interactive Android applications to actually start uh, learning uh, to program. There are other applications, and I might... Uh, talk about them in the future but my take is that programming hub is one of the best of them all right so if you guys enjoyed this video please hit the like button and subscribe uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video